At minus 196 degrees Celsius, liquid nitrogen is one of the coldest liquids in the world and the most commonly used cryogenic coolant ever. Plus, it costs less than one euro per liter, making it incredibly cheap. Such extremely low temperatures near absolute zero are not exactly harmless. The classic experiment is a rose that freezes when dipped into the super cold liquid nitrogen. While it was freezing, the nitrogen began to boil. Once the rose matched the temperature of the nitrogen, it completely stopped boiling. The freezing made the rose brittle and you could practically turn it into powder. Even though liquid nitrogen has this effect on the rose, I can stick my hand in it for a short time without any harm to me at all. The Leiden frost effect keeps me safe. The name nitrogen reminds us that something gets suffocated, whether it's living beings that can't survive in nitrogen or even flames that can be quickly and effectively extinguished with it. The nitrogen displaces the oxygen and reacts with almost no substances, so the fire gets smothered completely. There are still some types of fires that can't be extinguished using nitrogen. Two elements that really react strongly with nitrogen are lithium and magnesium. As you can see here, the burning magnesium powder can't be extinguished with nitrogen. In fact, the opposite happens. The fire basically escalates into an explosion-like state when it comes into contact with nitrogen gas or even liquid nitrogen here. But since nitrogen generally reacts with very few substances, it's super commonly used as a protective gas in chemistry. That's exactly why we've got pure nitrogen gas flowing straight from the tap here at uni. Super cold in liquid nitrogen, we can just fill up straight from the tanks. 